All right, guys. I've been talking to you all weekend. You know who I am. I'm John Whitaker. Uh, I've been building a scanner business now for nine years. And I do four trade shows a year. There's two groups of doctors I really like to work with. One is the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. They're called A4M doctors. Because they're one set of doctors that actually get serious training on nutrition. And the other group of doctors that I like to work with are optometrists and ophthalmologists. I do two huge eye trade shows a year, one in New York uh, called Vision Expo East and one in Las Vegas, Vegas called Vision Expo West. And I, all day long I'm just talking to optometrists. And here's why I think a scanner first makes sense in an optometry or an ophthalmologist practice. If you think about it, you get an eye exam how often? Once a year. And most of us drag that out to 14, 16 months. So what that means is if I put a scanner with an optometrist, he is scanning a new patient every day. It's going to be a year. So, so for example, there are chiropractors that may see 40 patients a day. But sometimes the 40 patients they see on Monday, 10 of them will repeat on Wednesday. But with an ophthalmologist, it's a new patient every day. So in terms of scanner revenue, that makes a lot of sense. We can constantly scan extra $20 a scan. The second reason that it makes sense, you've listened to Lewis Cady's presentations and we can take any disease out there and tie a better result or maybe even causal effect to low levels of antioxidants or low levels of nutrients. But in one area, that doctors absolutely understand that there is a 100% correlation between age-related macula degeneration, AMD. There is a direct correlation between low levels of antioxidants and the number two cause of blindness. The number one cause of blindness is diabetes, but the number two cause is AMD. It's actually the number one cause of blindness for people over 50. And so there's the direct correlation between this disease and also glaucoma and some other eye diseases. And finally, I will show you in this presentation that of recent, these doctors have, have, have been exposed to huge studies that absolutely show that you can treat this disease with high levels of antioxidants. The third thing is, is we'll talk to doctors who say, I don't like to sell in my practice. That's a kind of a ridiculous statement. If you think about it, if you're charging for your service, you're selling in your practice to begin with. You know, it's, it's a, a dentist that says, well, I don't like to sell. Well, if you get a, a crown or a filling, you've been sold a crown or a filling. Hello. But one of the things about optometrists is they do not make a lot of money being a doctor. Technically, if you walk into an optometry shop, what you have is a retail store with a small office practice in the back. And the office practice doesn't make any money. They're getting $99 for an eye exam. That hardly pays for med school. The money is from what? The retail sale of glasses and sunglasses and contact lenses and those expensive frames. So they understand a retail model. So for people who are building a business, optometry makes sense. And so I go into an optometrist and, and I, again, do my typical schizophrenic presentation. We're, why, why do we split here? Because we're schizophrenic. Upstairs, they're talking about business. Downstairs, we're talking about science. I appeal first to improved eye health. And, and, and by the way, if I'm helping you with your eyes, if we're giving you antioxidants for your eyes, guess what? The side benefit of those antioxidants is they don't just deposit themselves in your eyes. There's an overall systemic benefit from taking an eye formula, and we improve your antioxidant status. And then, of course, I would go into the doctor with the business presentation that's upstairs. Now, here are the studies. Age-related eye disease studies. If you guys go look these up, these were huge studies. The first one, ARADS, essentially took a group of nutrients, and I'll show you the nutrients here in a minute, and gave it to people with age-related macula degeneration, right, these diseases, and, and they saw an improvement. So why did they have to do a second study? 
because there is some research on synthetic beta carotene, not real beta carotene, not the kind of beta carotene that you'd get from palm fruit or from carrots, which is what we use in our products, but there has been studies linking synthetic beta carotene supplementation with increased risk of cancer for smokers, okay? Just smokers, not the rest of the population. So the first study, the AREDS-1 study, included beta carotene in the product. So when this study came out, it was like, I mean, it was a huge study, millions of dollars, thousands of patients. And so I went to Joe Chang and I said, Joe, I play scanners. And I can play scanners with optometrists and all I need is an AREDS compliant eye formula. And guess what? They gave us one. And then they got concerned about beta carotene and somebody got concerned about zinc and so they did an AREDS 2 study without the beta carotene and so I had to go back to Joe and have him reformulate our eye formula to make it AREDS 2 compliant. You guys following that? So we, we still have all the same high quality six, remember that 6S process we talked about? We all have all these great things that we can always say about how great our product is, but when I'm at an optometry trade show, ophthalmologist trade show, a doctor will walk up to me and he say, well, John, I see you have an eye formula. How do, what's the story here? And I said, doc, here's what I want you to do. There are 30 other companies at this eye show, and they all have what? An AREDS compliant eye formula. All of them. And they're going to tell you, just like we can, how great we manufacture it, what standards we use, how we source ingredients. They've got a 6S slide somewhere, probably. But I'm going to say, here, here's the difference with us. The difference with us is this thing called a biophotonic scanner. We actually measure. Because see, when you go talk to those other 30 companies, what are they going to tell you? If you paid attention to my class yesterday, what's the other 30 companies going to tell you? We got the best product. We have the best. Everyone says they have the best. Put all 30 of them on the table and tell me how 30 can be the best. <laughs> how can 30 be the best? And how do you know? The absolute basis of size is measurement. If you want to think about any scientific class you've ever set in, any study, the basis of size is measurement. So here's what I'm suggesting. We have a biophotonic scanner that's been endorsed by everybody in the scientific community, clinically proven. So my answer to this thing is, is Doc, don't just hand your patients one of these 30 best products and hope that you may have at least got in the top 10 or could have been really lucky and gotten the top five or had a one in 30 chance of actually getting the best one on the table. Or another solution is why don't we do baseline reading measurements and then put people on an AREDS-2 compliant eye formula that is scanner certified so that your patient has a 100% money back guarantee that we're gonna raise their antioxidant score have them come back in in 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days and get retested and walk back into your store for the second time this year and maybe decide they want to add a pair of sunglasses to their purchase. Excuse me for getting off on money. That's upstairs, right? Okay, so here, here was the AREDS-2 study. And if you notice, in the AREDS-2 study, we, we, they got so concerned about beta carotene, so they, they took it out, and this is our, was our eye formula, and I haven't updated this slide. If you look at our eye formula today, we have removed the beta carotene, right? Because why? We use natural beta carotene. As a nutritionist, I would want that in there. We pulled it out as a marketing ploy, I think natural beta carotene is very healthy for you, a source of vitamin A, and if beta carotene was poisonous and when none of us could ever eat a carrot again, 
But because the AREDS2 study had zero beta carotene, we took the beta carotene out. But then here's what we did. Here's what they did in the study. Here's what we did in our formula. Here's what they did in the study. Here's what they did in the formula. Look what they used in the study. Synthetic vitamin E. Doc, here's the difference between my product. I would never use synthetic vitamin E in a product. We, we would not use DL-alpha to cover all. We use D-alpha to cover all because it's about 27 times more antioxidant than the synthetic stuff, and it's natural. And then we go right down the line. And the other thing is, who's in this group of macular degeneration people? A lot of diabetics. We had a little alpha lipoic acid because we believe that that's important. And oh, by the way, the EPA and DHA, we can add right here with a product called Optimal Omega. So if you want to give someone, and, and there is great research with Omega-3 oils and dries and eye health, so if you want to give someone an incredible eye formula that is AREDS2 compliant, to include the omega-3 oils, you put them on a, an ADR for the I formula, AREDS compliant, but also, do you see right here this little symbol? That says scanner certified. Guaranteed to raise your antioxidant scores. So what doctors, what you should do is you should scan your patients. If they have AMD, you're seeing that in their eye exam, they're starting the first stages, you're seeing the little black spots, Put them on the eye formula. And you could say, oh, by the way, since we're going to do this eye formula, if you would like to, I can upgrade you to a complete nutritional package called Lightback Dano that's also going to provide you the antioxidant protection for your eyes. So that is a quick overview of the eye formula. Guys, thanks for having me.